Here it is, folks. In all its immaculate glory. Slink the kink. Mr. Two-Time. Double dog. Double dog dare ya. Just in immaculate condition. Check this out. Look at all the little variations. Sheboygan side by side. Top down. Up dog. Insane, guys. I mean, look at uh, the spring works. You know, absolutely fully functional. You know, pull it in, open it up, pull it out. Um, check it out. The uh, springy tail. Um, pff, boing. I mean, you can't control that little thing. It's just crazy, guys. Open it up, put it side by side again. Just check it out. Whoa, the, I love this part. Look, it can stand up. <laughs> How cool is that? Look at the collar. Felt all intact. Incredible. You never see that. You never see the tag intact. But don't sleep. Y'all, get hyped. Because this one's wild. We got the super rare Japanese re-release of the Ursula Soul Sucker. This is a non-binary unit meant to pleasure any persuasion. Because it comes equipped with the ultra-powerful suction unit. Disguised as one of their eel. And boy, this thing can suck. I mean, look. Sucked all the chrome off this trailer hitch. Freaking almost sucked that golf ball through that freaking garden hose. Are you kidding me? Insane. Look, look, let me show you something. Look how quickly it can suck down this freaking American spirit. I mean, second speed, highest setting. Insane, bro. Look at that thing go. So, yeah, if you remember, Ursula was obsessed with taking people's souls. So, hence the soul sucker. And it was released in Japan at the height of, like, the tentacle fet uh, epidemic. So, I mean, guys, it's rare. It's beautiful. Don't sleep. Don't you dare. Oh, look who it is. If it isn't the one, the only, Mr. George Sanderson in the house. Wow, very hard to find unit. This is the sterile Standerson. Very extremely hard to find, like I said. But this is what makes it so crazy. I mean, you never see him with that. You never see it with that. Unless he's about to get sterilized, bro. The part that bugged me, though, in the movie is the little hazmat dudes. They never came back around with a peanut and clean my man up, bro. It's just common courtesy, bro. You got to clean your boy up. I mean, it's just ridiculous. But anyways, that's something I can tend to. Not something that you all need to worry about. Uh, it's a code 2319, baby! Watch out! Sanderson in the house. Don't sleep. You know? Just don't do it. Don't sleep. Stilettos. Pumps. In. The club. Stilettos. Pumps. In. The club. Okay, looking bad with it. <laughs> Just capping, y'all. This is actually a restoration job that I just finished. Um, came in from an anonymous client, uh, and it was looking rough. I got to say, the rubber was just toe up, you know. It looked pretty stepped on, if you will. <laughs> but that's the job sometimes, you know. You got to, like, roll your sleeves up and get down in it and uh, make it look beautiful again. Because I love seeing the smiling face of my client when I return these. Um had to outsource the petty to the folks over there at Good For Her Nails. Um, they did an amazing job, as they always do. Check them out. Um, yeah, guys. I wish I could tell you, you know, not to sleep like I usually do. But this one's in FS, man. Somebody already woke up. I'm really sorry to have to do this to y'all. You know, drop two grails in a day. But hey, it is Christmas after all. And you've been asking for it. This is the Toy Tail Bo Peep Show with opposable legs. Look at that. You just flip them, whip them, whichever way you want, and they stay like that. So crazy. Uh, yeah, the shoe's super hard to find. Bonnet intact. I mean, pff, incredible unit. Uh, wow, just like pff, near mint condition. Like I said, no cap. <laughs> this is the... This is the Honeycomb Staff Lube Plunger. Uh, that's not the original jar. I mean, pff, I wish it was, but you know how hard it is to find those. Let's uh, put her leg right there. Okay, yeah. I mean, the lace is a little beat up, but pff, otherwise in wonderful condition. You just don't find them like this, folks. It's insane. Uh, pff, like I said, don't sleep. Red alert. We got another 2319. 
another insane grail. The monster's cream canister. And it definitely isn't a whippet. <laughs> so on this side, we got the Glug Glug 9000. Other side is the Glizzy Globbler 3000. Just a fair warning. The liquid in the canister is not actually Screams. It's actually Doc Johnson Strawberry Lube. That's the one I like. You could put whatever. But here we go. Inside, CDA 069. The little hazmat homie. Insane, dude. Um, so the craziest part about this unit is within the little hazmat homie, there's a little pump that dispenses the lube from the canister. Um, comes out of that little hole right there so that you don't have to do anything. It's all automatic. Insane. Wild innovations that they had with this unit. But yeah, guys, it's the cream canister, immaculate condition. Don't sleep.